When veterans retire from active duty, they carry with them more than just memories. From chronic pain to PTSD, veteran health has been a national topic of debate for generations. But a growing movement see veterans finding relief in plants, switching from pill bottles to buds and easier, easing their pain through cannabis. Katrin Asaf spoke with one dispensary on their connection to those who have served and why one veteran prefers the controversial plant over opioids. She's joining us now in Sherwood with more on this. Yeah, Bob, Laura, according to the National Institutes of Health, veterans are twice as likely to die from an overdose than the general public, a statistic that's sending money from pharmacies to dispensaries. Some say they prefer the natural remedy over more synthetic medication, especially those who know the cost of serving. I was in the U.S. Navy for eight years. Jimmy Carmichael knows what it takes to serve. Having spent nearly a decade in the military, he's seen the toll. I'm actually classified as a disabled vet. Carmichael was active duty when he tore both his shoulders, needing surgery and then opioids. It was a feeling that I didn't like. He says the medication led to nausea and brain fog, but soon he sought out another option, cannabis. The product works. Brian Fott has watched medical marijuana turn into a craze bringing thousands into natural relief every day. But every time he checks out a patient, his gaze catches on this. Right up to the end, it was his dream to be able to see the place open. His brother, a disabled veteran himself, and reason for Fott's focus on those who have served. Freedom isn't free, so our veterans will always be cherished in here. Offering relief without the dangers of opioids is what drives Fott's business, a belief that Carmichael says makes it a prime option for veterans. More and being in the military and, and experiencing some of the things that some of us veterans experience, it's, it's, it can be overwhelming. A budding business that can help protect a population that has done so much to protect others. I've had friends and still do have friends that have been to war, seen things that, that most people haven't seen, and, and um, it helps them. Now, medicinal marijuana is growing as an option, but nationally, there are still some holdups. It is still a federally conserved, controlled substance, meaning the VA can't prescribe it to the people or even advise its use. However, a Cannabis Research Act has just made it out of the House Veteran Affairs Committee, so people are hopeful that that would be another option for further research. Reporting in Sherwood, I'm Kate Renee Saf. Back to you.